Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs from May 24th through May 31st. So guys, I am so, so, so proud to announce that my baby sister has opened up her own tarot channel. It is called uh, Temperance of Tarot. Um, the channel is so new that if you search it, you will not find it. So you do have to go to the description box below this video to um, click on the link to subscribe. Okay, she's putting out uh, next week's love videos, um, either today or tomorrow. I'm just so proud of her. She did it all on her own with no guidance from me at all. So I'm just so happy for her. Okay, so if you guys want to check her out, the link is in the description box below. Okay. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and uh, doing well. Let's get started, guys. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Taurus, please? What advice, what clarity do we have for my Taurus, please, for May 24th through May 31st, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Taurus, please? May, 30, May 24th through the 31st, please. All right, my loves, so if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, um, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry. It is a lot of fun. So be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. I keep forgetting the Bible. I just added Bible to the list of things I'm giving away. Um, it's a beautiful Bible, study Bible, large print, NIV version. So guys, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. When you comment, if you want to enter the, um, if you want to enter to win, please be sure to manifest, manifest what you want. Tell me if you want the Bible, the crystals, tell me what you want. Okay. Um, for personal readings, I am still only taking uh, emergency readings due to high demand, okay? The link will be in the description box below to book me for a reading. Um, in the description box below, you will also find my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111. Um, I am starting a new series on there on how to find your spiritual joy while overcoming pain and suffering. So if you'd like to check that out, um, the link is below to subscribe, okay? Um, let's get into your pre-shuffle message, Taurus. So I, some of you may possibly be dealing with a Pisces because the message was very similar. Okay. The message was very similar. Um, <clears throat> there's a connection here where there was a possibly love or loyalty or stability and then like, or somebody wanted that and out of nowhere, something changed. Okay. Something changed. Uh, maybe a truth came out. Um, something came out here that was very disappointing, very painful. I do feel that one person really does regret what happened, but the other person that was hurt cannot get over it. Okay. This person, their heart has went hard. They've become hard hearted. Um, like they're thinking with their head now, not their heart. So even though somebody here wants to apologize, even someone, if someone wants a second chance, they're, they're communicating, talking, like saying and doing all the right things. It's just not working. The reconciliation is not, you know, coming together um, because somebody here is holding back emotionally. Strength card, Leo energy. Someone here is trying to be strong. Someone here is taming their emotions. Um, and on the other person's part, someone here is to getting the courage here, I'm feeling, to come forward and try to make this work. So let's see what we have here. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages? Ooh, ooh, okay, healing family issues came out. Yep, someone here is definitely trying to heal a situation. Messages do we have for my Taurus, please, Spirit? Courage. Yeah, someone here is finding the courage to try to step forward and heal a situation. Um, I feel that maybe whatever happened here was probably really, really bad if they still have the nerve to kind of come forward and heal a situation, but they're trying. They're trying. Yeah, I feel that someone here feels like they lost their heart. Okay, someone here with financial constraint and a love reading, that's like, you know, loss of love, loss of something that you love. And under the deck, we have healer of the ages. Um, yeah, someone here realizes that they they may have lost someone's love. Someone is starting to realize that, like someone may have fallen out of love with them because of this. Okay, so we have victory and success popped out here. Um, somebody here may be successful in bringing this back together. We've got victory and success. Um, 
or someone may have been successful in getting a person to, you know, fall out of love with them. So let's see what we have going on here. We've got the five of wands and we've got the eight of wands. Someone here is really trying to fight for this. We've got a lot of communication here, guys. A lot of passionate communication. Page of cups, queen of cups. Someone here, again, like I said, Pisces energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy here. Somebody here is coming in with a lot of love, possibly apologizing to a water sign or you might have water in your chart. Either way, this is very emotional, okay? Very passionate and emotional communication. Um, Someone here is apologizing, saying how much they love. Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy with the Ace of Pentacles. Someone here is rushing in, wanting to apologize, offering a new beginning. We've got the Magician and the King of Cups, Virgo, Gemini, Energy, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Someone here is trying to manifest their partner back. They're pulling out all the stops, okay? They're, they're doing everything they can to try to put this back together again. Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. You could be married to this person. This is a true soul tie. This is your true soulmate. This is someone that mirrors you. This is, you know what I'm saying? This is a, a you know, this is a real love here. You know, and no wonder why this person's losing it. I, I don't know what they did, but they're fighting for it. Okay. Now here we have the Ten of Wands. And we have the nine of wands. Someone here is giving up because they're tired. Enough is enough. I've had enough. I'm sick and tired and I'm tired of being sick and I'm sick of being tired. Yeah, someone has had it. Three of pentacles and the seven of cups. Someone here feels that, you know, they've put a lot of work into a connection. Um, and maybe they're realizing that there's other options or that someone here has other options. Or maybe they're realizing that this person wanting to work on a connection might be an illusion. We've got the nine of cups here. And we have the five of cups. Somebody here really wanted wish fulfillment here. Somebody here really wanted to be happy. Somebody here really wanted this to work, but they were very disappointed with the five of cups. We've got the world card and we have the six of cups. Yeah, someone here is shutting, um, shutting the door to the past here. Uh, I don't know if, you know... This could be a past life soulmate connection. I, I feel like somebody here either wants to shut the door to what happened in the past and start a new beginning with this person, or somebody here is just going to shut the door on the past altogether. So, I mean, there is hope there, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. The, a cycle is definitely being closed out here. So let's see. Yeah, like either somebody saying, okay, let's just forgive and forget and move on, or somebody is completely shutting the door on this X for good and moving forward. Because that, that world card is a final decision. So it's, it's a cycle that's shut. Tell me about that five of wands. We've got the page of cups, more Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Someone's coming in fighting for an apology, fighting to bring stability here, coming in with that apology, coming in with gifts. Um, with the death card here, Scorpionic energy, someone here has completely changed. We've got the six of cups. So if someone here was like, you know, non-emotional in the past or was um, non-committal in the past or was, you know, emotionally unavailable in the past, they're about to do a complete 180. Now this person wants to rush in and work on this connection. Now they want to come in and defend the connection and save it. The nine of wands again. Yeah, now they come, they want to come in and want that second chance Sagittarian energy with the magician. This person will do anything to reconcile. King of Cups, the strength card. Someone here is holding back how they feel. That strength card. Okay. Yeah. Tell me more about this strength card. Someone here is holding back. Chariot, Cancerian energy. Yeah, someone here is realizing that maybe the best thing that they can do is move on and end this because they really just don't know if this person is really going to work on this connection or not. Hi, tell me about the Ten of Wands. We've got the Lover's card here. Someone here is tired of a person being undecided. So I feel like this person, for as much as they're coming in and fighting now, um, they put this person through a situation where maybe they wanted to keep their options open. Gemini energy here. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. And the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This person is saying, listen, you're giving very little to this connection. I'm giving everything I got. You're giving very little. Why? Because you're keeping your options open. Is this going to end? Three of Pentacles. We've got the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. Someone here put a lot of work, okay, into making this connection, you know, go, you know, and they've lost. They invested in nothing. You understand? Someone feels like, you know, I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my time putting love and energy into this. Seven of Cups, Page of Wands, when you're over there talking to a bunch of different options. 
yeah nine of cups you know you literally you want to go speak to other people you want there to be strife you want there to be drama you want there to be jealousy and competition and i'm done with the heartache you know what i'm saying i'm done with the heartache i know that you're doing stuff behind my back you know what i'm saying i know that you're doing stuff behind my back oh like i feel here taurus that somebody knows you know what i'm saying look at that you know someone knows that this stuff is happening behind their back you know yeah, I feel like I know that you're talking to other people. I know that you're playing games behind my back. I know this is happening, happening, Capricorn energy. Like, I know this is happening, and I'm done working on this connection. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Someone here has stopped hoping. Someone here, does. they used to really want this connection, and now they don't. They're cutting it out of their heart space. They've lost hope. Five of Cups. This person has put a lot of work into something, and they're just disappointed at this point. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's like the tables have turned. This person really just doesn't want this anymore. Tell me about the World card here. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. So we do have a new beginning happening here. The Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. Again, a new beginning. The Three of Swords, though. What about this Three of Swords? The Hanged Man. So someone here may be putting the past in the past and starting a new beginning. Did we see reconciliation here? We've got the tower. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. And the devil. Yeah, Capricorn, Energy. I don't think this person is letting go of the past. Yeah, this person is moving towards new love. Yeah, they're, they're rejecting an offer here. I, I don't see reconciliation here. Temperance, this person <coughs> um, is not mad. They're not hating anybody. They just, they've lost all, they've lost all attraction towards this connection. They just don't want to deal with it anymore. This person fell out of love and now they're moving forward to a successful connection. They don't want this anymore. Yeah, we've got the tower as the challenge here. And with the seven of wands, they're pushing this away. They're pushing this away. So here we have the queen of pentacles and the justice card. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, Libra energy. Someone here is facing karmic justice because this queen of pentacles doesn't need anybody. You know what I'm saying? This queen of pentacles does not need anybody. And she definitely doesn't need to be wasting her time in a connection where somebody is talking to other people. Yeah, she's walking away. <coughs> Excuse me. This Queen of Pentacles sees the truth for what it is, and she is walking away with that Five of Swords. She's done. She's given up. Justice card. Yeah, Five five of... Uh, someone here is facing Karmic Justice because they can't bring this back. Yeah, someone here wanted to hold on to third-party situations. You know what I'm saying? And they, they didn't... They didn't appreciate what they had when they had it, and this person is out now. They don't they don't want to deal with it anymore. So someone here is facing really, really a serious karmic justice. This person wants nothing to do with them at all. So I don't know if that's you, Taurus. I don't know, you know, if you're the one who messed up and you're trying to reconcile. I don't know if you're the one who, you know, maybe, Taurus, you want this person to come back and try to reconcile, but you're going to find that even if they do, you don't want them. You, you just can't bring yourself to work on this anymore because you're tired of investing into something that's going nowhere this person talks to too many other people and it's not worth your time all right guys i love you i'll see you soon take care god bless bye